Hi, my name is Brittany McHugh. I am currently an acting major at University of Illinois, and I've been pursuing acting since I was eight years old. Uh, so I, I first got into theater long before I ever started acting because I've always been in love with storytelling, uh, whether that be movies or TV shows or books or just making up stories myself. I was very big into make-believe and imagination. I did my first play when I was eight years old. My mom signed me up for community theater um, because the soccer season was over and she wanted me to have something to do before I got into athletics again. <laughs> I did the play. It was called Once Upon a Shoe and it was a bunch of nursery rhymes and from the second I stepped on stage I felt this surge of energy and happiness and I just knew I have to keep doing this. I think doing theater for as long as I did as a kid really helped me with my confidence. It helped me with my imagination. I and it helps me keep this like childlike excuse me, wonder, um, that I think a lot of people lose when they grow up, which is so unfortunate because some of the best things in the world were created by people who have this, see this beauty and can see the world in a different way than people, than people who are stuck in an office all day or something like that. So I did continued with theater when I was in middle school. Um, and when I was in seventh grade, I tried out for the school musical and I got my very first rejection. I had never been rejected before. I had never really experienced a failure like that before and it hit me really hard. I was going through a hard time in my life. I was having some trouble with my friends. All my friends had gotten into the musical. I was the only one who hadn't. Um, and I felt like a failure. But I wasn't. I wasn't a failure. I just didn't get this one thing. And failure is something that you really have to deal with, especially when you're going into this field. And I think that's wonderful because it teaches you how to fail, which is a skill not a lot of people have. People don't know how to fail. They think getting something wrong means failure, and failure is the worst thing in the world, but it's not. It teaches you. It's the only way you can grow. And at first, when I was a kid, people were very okay with that because they're like, oh, that's so cute. That's a wonderful thing for a kid to want to be. They want to be a movie star, they want to be an actress, that's amazing. But then when you get older, people start changing their opinion. They, it's more like, oh, well that's a really unrealistic thing to do. That People hardly get into that field. People hardly make it in that field. Why would you want to do that? And that really upset me because people do acting knowing full well that it is an unrealistic field, that it's a hard field to get into, that, that you're going to have to work to make it. And some people don't even worry about making it, making it. Some people do it just because they love it, because it is, it is the purest form of connecting with humans, of telling stories, of changing people's opinions, of provoking uh, new conversations. So I auditioned for a couple of acting programs and I decided on University of Illinois, which is an amazing acting program. I have learned so much. I have made so many friendships. I have the most supportive group of classmates. The, a brilliant, brilliant flock of professors who are helping me can contribute and are teaching me about the magic of theater, the beauty of theater, and all it can do to help the world. In the future, I really hope to not just continue acting, but I actually want to own my own theater company where I can write, direct, produce, act, just do anything. It's, you're truly creating life. You're creating the lives of these people in a beautiful way. And I've just fallen so much in love, even more in love with it than I've already been. And I don't want people to ever lose that wonder they had as a kid because it's not something you should lose. I wanted to see the world in this different way than everyone else did. And theater is the way I can do that. What people don't understand is that entertainment has been a part of society forever. 
people would sit around fires and tell stories. There would be Shakespeare who would perform it. Theater, theater and arts in general was never, was never gone. It's always been a part of our society. And not only that, there have been several statistics that tell, tell you that the arts help children in schools. They foster creativity, they provoke new conversations. It's, it's upsetting that someone would want to take that away, that someone would look at these people who they don't quite understand and instead of trying to see the world through their eyes, which is this beautiful lens, they try to crush it. Which I, I don't get. It, it, it infuriates me. There's so much I wouldn't be. It's such an essential part of myself and I can't, I, it would kill me if someone ever took that away. Or if someone ever took that chance from another kid away. It would, it would just destroy me.